In just a few minutes, I'm going to show you how you can rank any website on the first page of Google fast and massively increase the organic traffic using just SEO optimized long form content. The best part is you don't have to write the content or be some kind of SEO expert. Anyone can do this. Follow the process and you can be ranking on that Google first page and sell, promote and market whatever you like. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to drive traffic to your website using long form content. This is a website I've recently set up. It's using Shopify and it's selling photography light boxes. What I'm planning on doing is writing some long form content and hopefully we can get that content optimized and ranking on the first page of Google and get some traffic. So if we take a quick look at the actual domain using SEMrush, if you haven't used SEMrush before, there's a whole bunch of things you can do with it. If you want a free account so you can do what I'm doing here, there will be a link in the description. From this domain overview report, you can see it's got this domain has no authority, has no organic search traffic, no paid traffic, and it's got a couple of backlinks. So my plan is to find a keyword or a key phrase that I can go after that might be easy to rank for and can generate a few clicks and hopefully a few sales. Now, I have done a little bit of research before starting this video, and what I've decided to do is go after the term Amazon product photography. I wanna niche down a little bit, and so by going after Amazon product photography, which is a reasonably searched term, we can see here with the keyword overview in SEMrush, there's about a thousand searches every month and it has a keyword difficulty of 41%. Now, generally I like to go for keyword difficulty a little bit lower, but it is a bit of a balance. With higher volume, often you get higher difficulty because there's more competition. Keyword difficulty is not the only thing we want to take a look at. If we take a look at the kind of results you get on Google, we can see that there might be opportunity for us. We can see there is a few guides. So we've got this Amazon product photography guide best practices. And down here, we've got another one using Amazon product photography to build your brand. And it's also a guide. Now, what I would like to do here is try to get my new content ranking somewhere in here. And I've taken a look at this particular article here, this using Amazon product photography to build your brand. And this is it here. It was published only a few weeks ago. I think we can probably do a better job of this and get some of that traffic. Before we leave the, the SEMrush keyword overview page here, it's worth just taking a note of a few of the other details it's telling us here. The first one is, this is a very competitive paid phrase. SEMrush estimates that the cost per click of this particular term is $10.20. If we can rank by putting a little bit of work in, it's gonna save us a whole bunch of money. The other thing is that this particular phrase has commercial intent. So people who search this, they're typically looking to maybe get a service or find something that can help them. And they're looking to purchase something to solve this problem. Also, if you're not familiar with SEMrush, it's just worth taking a quick note here. There's a whole bunch of keyword variations so we could select any of these, but you can see once you drop below this first one here, the volume really drops off. A bit further down, you can see the search engine results page analysis. And again, we can actually see some of the content we saw previously on Google. So here is the Jungle Scout article. It was reasonable content, but this is the one we think we can beat. So it's in the number 10 position. So we can definitely get above this. The way we're going to draft this article without actually writing it is using a new tool. I've actually just found this tool and I've tested it out and it seems to work pretty well. So this is Write Cream. This is the app we're going to use to draft our content. Before we get right into it, I just want to show you that one of the reasons I've chosen to use this app is because it's really cheap. Now there are similar tools out there and they can cost, you know, 59 US dollars to 99 US dollars a month. But this product, you can actually get it for a one-time purchase of only $59. There is a deal on at the moment. I have absolutely no idea how long it's going to run for, but I will put a link in the description that will get you right to this page. And if the deal's on, maybe you can grab it. With all that said, let's write our article. If you go into the dashboard here, you'll get this article writer. 
So we'll just click on that. We're going to generate some content based on a topic. We're going to go after the keyword phrase that I selected back in SEMrush, which was Amazon product photography. So let's generate some ideas. And you can see over here on the right, it's given us five ideas. So let's go with idea number five, the best ways to photograph your Amazon product. Then we just hit next step. It's going to generate an intro for us. And here we go. So we've got five intros to choose from. I will select the most appropriate one and we'll move on. Having a quick look through those suggestions, I'm going with intro number five and then we'll just hit next step. And now we're going to generate the content outline. So let's just hit this one. All right. So we've got four outlines to choose from today. I'm just going to go with outline number three. What type of camera should I use? What are the best angles? How to take studio quality pictures? And then a conclusion. So we'll go next step. All we do now is just hit write the article. This is a great start for our content around how to take product photos for Amazon. So we've drafted our long form content. We've got 574 words. What we want to do now is export that and you can easily do that by just hitting the export button. It'll generate a text file. But before we leave the app, we want to go back to the dashboard. Okay, we're back on the dashboard. We want to go to command mode. And the reason we're going to use this is you might need some additional content, some additional words for your long form content. And this is one way of getting it in the command mode. It basically just says, give it the command for what you want. I'm going to put a command in here and I'm going to say, provide a list of bullet points explaining the benefits of high quality product images for selling products online and let the app write the content. Here are a bunch of outputs to choose from. So this is going to really help. We can just copy that and take it. Back on the dashboard, just want to show you another example of how you can get some additional content if you need it. We can go to the paragraph generator. We'll put in the topic LED light box photography. Hit generate. And this is something else we can then put into our overall Amazon article. Just a quick reminder, if you like this content, consider subscribing to the channel. Also, if you've got some value from this video, maybe consider hitting the like button. That would be really appreciated and it would help me out. If you're on the home page here, there's a couple of links up in the top right. One, this one here, the ambitious link, it'll take you to a bunch of free resources that might help you with your SEO or your e-commerce project. The orange link here takes you across to the private group to help you with your next project. Now, before we move on to the next step, there's just one more feature I want to show you. If you go back to the dashboard and you scroll down a bit, you'll find this tool here called the paraphraser. So if we just select it, you can have other content rewritten. So if you went and looked at another article that you you liked, for example, so if I go back to, to this article that we were looking at previously from Jungle Scout, and we thought, you know what, we need this type of content in our article. It makes a lot of sense, but I don't really want to write it or redraft it. You can just copy that, put it in here, and we'll hit paraphrase. So it's going to rewrite it, and it's going to be fresh, new content. There's the output. We want to copy that. So we're just going to hit copy. Now with all the content that we've produced, we want to put it all together. And to do that, we just go over to this one here called the long form editor. I have copied and pasted the other content that we have generated from this process. I accept that this does need work and it needs to be all pulled together. But I hope you can see that by using an app like this, you can generate fresh new content. And then what we do from this point is we move it into the other app that I've mentioned a bunch of times, which is Surfer SEO. Now that we have our, our base article, what we want to do is paste it into Surfer SEO's content editor. If you don't know what Surfer SEO is, I've done several videos on them. I'll put a link above. With our outline content, we can paste it into here. And Surfer is going to tell us explicitly how many extra words we need, how many extra paragraphs we need, how many headings we should have, how many images we need within the article. And it's also going to highlight what keywords we need to add to our article if we are going to rank on the first page of Google once we're in the green, we're a very good chance of hitting that first page of Google. What I've shown you today is all the tools you need to be able to produce long form content without actually drafting the bulk of it yourself. A tool like Surfer, you don't need to be an SEO expert. It's actually doing all of that complex stuff behind the scenes. One of the things that sometimes comes up is where do I find the images if Surfer tells me I need 10 images? A couple of tips for you here. 
first one is try out Canva. It's 100% free. The other option you've got is within this tool here, you can actually go to the dashboard and you'll see this image generation. It's an AI image drawer. You just type in what kind of image you want and it will draw it. The next thing just to be aware of is you're going to need an SEO meta description. Doesn't matter whether you're using Shopify, Wix, WordPress, whatever, you need to have a good SEO meta description. Again, on this tool here, so you don't have to write it, it will draft the SEO meta description for you. When you've got all of that, if you're on Shopify like me for this article, we just go over to our blog, we paste our SEO optimized content in here, and then you just go down to edit the SEO metadata, and you can add your page title and your description in here, hit save, and away you go. So I've actually gone through the process that I've described, and now I have my article here live on the Shopify store, and I'm hoping this is going to start driving some traffic. To be honest, it's not 100% complete yet. I need to run this through the Surfer SEO audit tool, and that is going to actually provide some of the final items that I need to ensure it ranks very high on Google. If you've not used the audit tool, I'll put a link above to a video that goes through it in detail. The final step, and this is really important, make sure you go to the Google Search Console and request a re-indexing. If you've done all this work producing the content, you want Google to re-index so it can start ranking that content and hopefully you start hitting the first page. I hope you got some value from this video. If you like this type of content, consider subscribing to the channel. If you like the video, smash the like button. If you'd like a full tutorial on Surfer, check out this video here and I'll catch you over there.